Justin, it's customary to have yourself announced. Now, why make your secretary go through that formality? She told me you were free. All right, what do you want now? I have an idea about that uh, new reporter that you hired from San Antonio. The one that replaces me on my, uh, my nights off. Yes. Uh, what is your criticism? Oh, uh, nothing at all. I, I just wanted to recommend that uh, he replace me permanently. Permanently? I'm quitting as of today. Hmm. Would you care to explain? I thought my decision would make you happy. You never wanted me around KBIK to begin with. No, I won't argue that point, but I'd still like to know. Uh, have you developed a sudden yen for the race car circuit? No. That was the folly of my youth. Heaven knows the time I've put in with you has made me older and wiser. I'm going into the oil business, Vicky. Hmm. And you consider this um, sudden decision of yours a mature one? Oh, absolutely. I'll be working with the best. Alex Wheeler. World Oil? Alex offered me a job today, and I accepted. It is customary to give your employer two weeks' notice. I don't have two weeks, Vicky. I've never followed custom. Why should I start? Common courtesy, perhaps, or professionalism. If I wanted to be preached to, I'd go to church, Vicky. Stryker gave me all the details on that deal that you and Bubba Wadsworth put together for World Oil. Well, then you know it's a good one. Bigger than anyone ever expected. And, of course, Alex is very, very pleased with the outcome. Of course. And you've never been one to pass up the chance to capitalize on an opportunity, have you? Not if I can help it. Especially when uh, the person that I will be working with trusts me. I hope you never betray Alex's trust. For your sake as well as for Alex's. Vicki, you always thought the worst of me. Unfortunately, you usually prove me right. You better keep your eye on me, Vicki. I'm going to go far very fast. All I needed was the opportunity. And this is it. I don't intend to blow it. You two. Hi, honey. Sorry, I'm late. Now, what's this family conference all about? Rena wants to sell some stocks. Oh, is that why you had your portfolio out at Stryker's office yesterday? Yes, I asked Daddy to look it over. What stocks do you want to sell? Daddy's figured it all out. Well, why do you want to sell? Because I need the money. Well, your father and I can give you money. Why sell your stocks? I'm not dumping the whole portfolio on the market, just part of it. How much? $250,000. Well, it's my money, isn't it? Why can't I use it? And don't you forget, Grandma and Grandpa left all their stocks to me so I could use the money when I needed it. What do you need $250,000 for? I just need it, that's all. Are you planning to build that house? I'm not using it for the house, although it's not a bad idea. Then what are you going to use it for? I can't tell you. Then you can't have it. You know, you two make me feel like I'm asking permission to go to my school dance. Well, that money is mine, and I want to use it. Rena! That money's for your future. I don't give a damn about my future. I need the money now. Are you in some kind of trouble, Rena? No. Well, then tell us what you want the money for. I can't. I can't tell you. It's real important, Mama. All right. All right, when you're ready to discuss this with us, we'll see what we can do. Don, would you care for some coffee or, or, or tea? Oh, no, thanks. 
Has uh, Alex left for the office, oh, ready? Yes. I thought Max went out on the range or wherever at the crack of dawn. Oh, he does? I was so surprised when he answered the phone. I, I started stammering like, oh. <laughs> you just come in for some coffee. He must have thought I sounded very strange. Well, he does think you're a little strange, darling. Really? Well, he's never known anyone quite like you, Iris. Anyway, the point is you can stop worrying. Well, what did you tell him I wanted? I told him that you were having a few problems with Alex and he needed my advice. Oh, Rena, you didn't. Well, don't you think it's better than telling him you're being blackmailed? <laughs> For a million dollars, no less, because of a past indiscretion of pages. Dad, Paige's visit to the police department was a big zero. It was a complete waste of her time. Well, she thought it would be, didn't she? Yeah, she sure was right. Well, they sat her down and showed her a lot of mug shots, and she wasn't able to identify one of them. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, but it was worth a try. I mean, she was right to report being mugged, even though she waited so long to do it. Hello. Good morning, Ellie. Good morning, Paige. Good morning, Paige. I was just filling Dad in what happened at the police station yesterday. Oh, were you? Yeah. And I've been thinking. What have you been thinking, honey? About that guy who mugged you? I mean, you obviously weren't his first victim. He's probably running around somewhere right now, scot-free. So I've decided that the best... What have you decided, honey? I've decided that I want Vicky to let me work with one of the reporters who handles the police beat. Well, what do you think that will accomplish? Dad, I hope to start an investigation of my own. What's the matter? Nothing. Uh, it's just... Uh, what? Darling, I told you yesterday that I would rather forget about the whole thing. Well, I don't think you should, Paige. Why not? It was a nightmare for me from the beginning. Why should I drag it out? Look, I know it wasn't easy for you, Paige, but there are other people you have to think about. What other people, Dennis? The people who might get mugged by this guy if he isn't apprehended. I mean, look what he did to you. I need to be reminded of that, darling. Well, he could do that to somebody else, Paige. Who knows? Maybe he already has. And if he hangs around the world building garage, he might even go after you again. I doubt that will happen. You have no way of knowing that. Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's over, Dennis. I went down to the police station. I told them all I knew. I couldn't identify anyone. That is it. No, that's not it. At least not as far as I'm concerned. And if you refuse to do anything about it, then I will. At least I'll try. All right, fine. Fine. You do whatever you want. But please, let's just quit talking about it, all right? Look, Paige, I'm not trying to make an issue of it. I'm just trying to do what I feel is right, that's all. Son, didn't you say you had an editing session at 10? Yeah. Well, look at the time. I didn't realize how late it was. Bye. I'll call you later, all right? Okay. Dad? Have a nice day.